What's going on, folks? Welcome back to Red Cat Live. You know what it is. It's just another episode where we talk about anything Red Cat RC related. If this is your first time on the show, we do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well as that like button if you like what you see. You definitely don't want to miss any future episodes because there's quite a bit of things that are going to be still coming too in the next coming weeks, months, and the rest of the year. We promise you guys that we're going to have a pretty big year this year when it comes to drops, trying to beat what we did last year as far as the drops that we have out and available for everyone. 2024 is not going to be any different. Uh, we promise you guys that in the first quarter we would have a couple more products available. And who knows, that could happen hopefully between now and the end of the quarter. And the end of the quarter is literally right around the corner, to say the least, right? We're in February. March is the end of Q1, going into Q2. Uh, there's a lot of great, fun things happening. So if you don't want to miss out, please make sure that you are subscribed and make sure that uh, you stay in touch with what's going on. On last week's episode, as a recap, we did talk a little bit more about the Bed Dancer and what the plan is in hopes to roll it out to everyone right? Allowing folks to put a $200 deposit down towards purchasing the actual product. The benefit at that point to purchasing that product uh, or putting that down payment down is you get a, behold, a whole behind the scenes um, introduction into the actual product itself, where you get to really nerd out with us in the creation of this product. And not just that, it allows you, the founders of the group, so to speak, that are going to be joining us on this venture to also have a voice in the product itself, right? Have claim and stake in it. And who knows, you might even have your own addition at the end of the whole thing. One thing's for sure is you would definitely have the product before anyone else is going to have it. So that's also a good takeaway. You can back out of that $200 deposit when we roll this program out up to a certain date. And after that date, then you're, you're out. And it's no harm, no foul. But I wanted to make sure I started the show with that because there's a lot of misconceptions that this is a subscription of some sort to leaking information when it's not. It's you putting a deposit down to purchase the vehicle and the icing on the cake, the cherry on top, is being able to participate in this secret or private group um, where you actually have a voice. So uh, we hope that a lot of you guys were able to take a lot of great things from that. We got a lot of great feedback from a lot of folks, a lot of emails and messages at that as well. Uh, and then of course we got the ones, the naysayers, and that's okay because if it's not for you, it's not for you. No big deal. You just don't need to blow my email up with it. i ah, just kidding. But anyways, regardless, I appreciate you. If you guys are coming back, let's say what's up to a couple of the folks that are in the chat right now and are here diligently week after week. So first and foremost, Let's say what's up to some folks. Yoshi Rivera's in the house. Yoshi, what's going on with your brother? Um, Red Wolf RC, thank you so much. As for, <laughs> all right, first in line, shout out to Oscar, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Art Hopper, what's going on with you? Uh, Francisco Garcia, I represent the 209 in Modesto. Mo brings the best, I'm telling you. Uh, Nefdog45 was good. How are you? Thank you for coming on coming on by and stopping by with us. BT Thurman's in the house. What's going on with you, man? Chris Stanley's here as well. He's out representing the 209 out of Stockton. So I love it, man. Hammer Lane, that's where it's at. I'm telling you, I used to work in Stockton. I used to like always try to find all the little secret food spots and the taco spots in Stockton are fire. I'm just saying. So thank you for stopping on by as well. Um, Art Hoffer says, empty seat. Yeah, empty seat, because I just got too lazy and moving it. But yeah, today's going to be a solo mission for me. Uh, nothing that I'm not used to doing. The majority of the episodes that I do, I do do solo. But uh, it's kind of fun bringing in uh, the personalities here, right? The, the people that are diligently working. So I promise you I'll be bringing in some more people in the future. But as of today, it's just going to be boring old me, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Yoshi, what's going on with that? What's, he said, sup, Slim Taco? <laughs> Um, uh, Franken RC, uh, Jockler says, uh, hi here, uh, Robert from Germany, Nuremberg. Appreciate you, man, from Germany. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Brian Key says, good afternoon. Um, Mr. Denny RC Mike says, what's going on, my brother? How are you doing over there? Still loving the product. I'll put out and I'll put out and keep on going because I'm Dan. I damn sure will. Love y'all work. Appreciate you, man. Thank you for the kind words. OG Paperboy, what's going on with you? He says, I want some 15 by 10 deep dish Dayton's for the minis. That's a great comment. I love that. I love that. Um, 
Art Hopper says, you guys, uh, you guys got me wanting to buy a second drift car with the new sale. And we're going to go over that sale. Uh, a lot of the basis for today's show is going to be kind of highlighting the products that we have on sale for the making room sale. Now, last time we did a making room sale was for a specific reason, because we needed to make room for something that we launched and brought out to you guys. This is no different. We got some product. We got a little bit overstock on some things. We want to make some room for some cool, new, exciting, and fun stuff that we want to bring to you guys. So we're trying to make that room in the warehouse, and we can only do that by offering a sale. And that translates to some purchases at an awesome price point for you guys at home. Kurtz RC, what's going on, man? Kurtz RC says, nice hat. JJ Customs, bro. I'm saying, man. I was out there when they first launched JJ's, man. Jason LaMarca, great guy out of uh, San Jose, California. Great hobby shop out there. Roadside RC, what's going on with you, man? Thank you for stopping by. Clay Keats, mi hermano, man. How are you, bro? Hopefully you're doing well. And let's not stray away, guys. It's a great day, right? It's, it's, it's Cupid's arrow aiming day right it's valentine's day so this is a firm reminder make sure you're on your way home even if you got to stop by the gas station and pick up some sweets for your sweetie at home make sure you're doing that and if uh you want share this clip right here i oscar ramirez condone you buying your significant other some awesome rc products on this lovely valentine's day so keep that in mind make sure you guys are out there shopping well and shopping fun and shopping safe um tim coates what's going on with you man thank you for stopping by as well red wolf rc leonardo rios what's up man tom andrews um Yoshi says, Oscar's losing inches. You're disappearing on me. Good stuff, homie. I'm proud of you. I appreciate it, man. I am. I'm, I'm dropping down quite a bit. But uh, uh, not the weight so much, but the inches are definitely shedding away. So I appreciate that. Thank you for, for noticing. Um, uh, those locals are seeing says he's working on his gen nine while he watches the stream man. I appreciate that. That's what's up. That's the best time to watch these shows. Listen, for a lot of you guys that don't get to watch the show live and are watching this afterwards. Uh, one of the coolest things that I see is pictures being shared of watching your live stream, our live stream on your big screen while you're wrenching away, no matter what product it is, it doesn't have to be our products, but it's just because you're in the hobby and you're enjoying it. That's the takeaway I get, right? That you actually, what confuses me is that you actually want to have me on your screen. Listen, if you have rodents at home that you want to get rid of, my face does a great job at pushing them away. So I condone that 100%. Um, Frank Gonzalez, man, what's going on with you, man? Um, he says, make sure to come out to AZ show this weekend. We'll talk about that here in a little bit, Frank. Thank you for that. Kyle Owen says, hi, Kyle. He says, hi, Kyle from Norfolk Naval Base. Uh, is there any plans to upgrade for the machete? Um, nothing that's been brought to my attention yet. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, chiming in as well. Uh, if you are a serviceman, thank you so much. We appreciate your service. Um, but uh, if more information comes to, I'll, I'll gladly share it in the future episodes as well. Keith King says, what's going on from Kansas, man? Congratulations on your win out there in Kansas City. Uh, it's always good. OG Paperboy says, I love my Red Cats, Lowrider 64, and Ascent for the win. I love it, man. Uh, playing with Stickers says, uh, what's good from Cali? You know, Cali holds it down. Love it. Thank you. Uh, Jack Jones, man, what's going on, homie? How are you, bro? Uh, Charles NNM, Aloha from Kua Kauai. Uh, all us brothers out here waiting for the new Bad Dancer. Man, you guys doing big things out there on the islands, man. So much love. Mahalo. You guys are killing the game and honestly a great uh, influence to us even making the the mini truck right there was a plant seed that was planted but man you guys just take it to a whole new level so much respect to all of you guys out there doing big things you guys are doing amazing stuff and it's truly inspiring <laughs> og paper boy says i bought my red cat some sweets it's the other way around <laughs> chris Alvarado, man what's going on with you thank you so much for stopping by um Kurt RC says, it's time for some love. Uh, buy your wife an RC car. If she don't like it, keep it for yourself. <laughs> you guys are killing it, man. You guys are great. Uh, Bonafide the Fool, what's good with you, homie? How are you, man? Hopefully you're having a blessed day. Um, Jacob Thompson's in the house as well. Um, he says, the man with the taco plan. Always oh, got to have the plan of tacos, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere we're at, I'm like, where are we at? What's the nearest spot? Let's get it. Jared says in the house as well. Um, Redrick uh, Powell says, when's the next lowrider drops? Um, I think sometime between now and the end of the year. Is that fair? 
hopefully. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. All right, guys. So first and foremost, again, thank you so much for all of you guys that are stopping by. Today's episode is not a ton of new products to share with you guys by any means. It's definitely not going to be a, anything geared towards any specific aspect of our seeing lowrider or bashing or crawling uh, or air or boats or anything in between. But today we're going to highlight some products that we actually are launching on the sale. As I mentioned earlier, we have a making room sale uh, that has launched uh, as of yesterday. And the last time we did this was in efforts to make room in the warehouse for new product coming in. We have containers that are arriving of some cool stuff that we don't know exactly when they're going to be arriving, but we have to be ready and prepared for those products to arrive. We told you guys. And between the beginning and the end of the first quarter, we should have some more products coming. And that time is quickly coming. So we need to make sure we have the room for said products to make sure that we have room to, to store them and sell them to you guys. So uh, one of the biggest takeaways is that we are offering 25% off on select products during this sale. And some of the products that we're going to be talking about specifically today in the sale itself, and first and foremost, if you want to know, the sale will end March 5th of 2024. So you guys have, I uh, believe, just about three weeks or so of sales before we actually pull the plug on it. So while you can, you can save on products like our Decono, like our RDS um, a rear wheel drive drift kit, the RDS RTR, the Marksman, the Gen 9, and the Machete. So um, let's kind of go over some of these products and highlight them as we go. To a lot of folks that are joining us for the first time, you guys haven't had a lot of maybe exposure to some of these products. So some of these might be newer to you. And if you've been a follower of Redcap for the last couple of years, they're probably products that you already know about. So if I'm covering something that you guys already know about the product, I do apologize, but just take it as you may. Uh, there's a lot of folks that are going to be coming in and watching this live stream that have zero experience with RC. And this might be their first introduction to these specific products. So bear with me today. Mike Raff, man, what's going on with you, man? Chaz Pfeiffer's in the house as well. What's good, homie? How are you, bro? Uh, Alfonso Ishida says, what's up, man? Representing Drop Zone. Drop Zone's in the house. I love it. Erica Stepp, it's always great talking to you, homie. Hopefully you're having a great one. You and the family having a blessed day. And I believe uh, happy birthday to your wifey, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I got that right. I hope I read that right anyways. <laughs> um, OG Here Boy says, Sunny from the block would say, if she doesn't buy uh, you a red cat, you dump her and you dump her fast. <laughs> I love it, man. I want to. I want to hear the best lines you guys got. But let's cover product number one, and then uh, we'll get to it. While I do that, I want you guys to drop your best uh, comeback line if you're in love and you're smelling the flowers and you got the hearts. What is the one thing that you're going to buy your significant other? And if not, what are you going to ask for them to buy from you for you? So. First and foremost, let's talk about one of the first things that we have up for sale. First up is going to be the RDS Builders Kit. The RDS Builders Kit uh, usually retails for $149.99 and is now, sorry, $199.99 and is now available for $149.99. The Builders Kit is essentially the exact same chassis and parts that you're going to find on the RDS uh, ready to run minus all the electronics. So if this is, if you're the kind of person that wants to potentially uh, like to build your car instead of buying an RTR. Maybe you want to save the money buying the RTR and spend your money on higher end electronics. Like maybe you want to run something that's hobby wing or maybe you want to run, you know, a different uh, uh, servo and or you already have a radio. This is going to be definitely something for the guys that are already involved in the hobby and maybe already have electronics or want to go over the top with their build, not really wasting their money, time and energy on the factory electronics. They might just be subpar to people like that because they've been involved in the hobby for a very long time so if this is you the rds builders kit as i mentioned is on sale right now until march 5th and it is available for 149.99 regularly priced at 199.99 so a 50 dollars difference at this time jimmy winfrey man what's going on with you how are you um Jared Say says, how long is this going to be on sale? As I mentioned, the sale ends March 5th. RC Bettina guy, Eric, what's going on, homie? How are you, brother? Um, let's see. I'll make sure I'm not missing anyone here. All right. I'm going to come back to some of these because some of these are actually pretty good. <laughs> uh, Ken Kennedy says, the RDS is legit. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Um, 
When will we offer a lowrider kit? Uh, so we do offer, in essence, the LRH285 Show Builders kit, which is just a chassis in chrome. If you want to put all of your own electronics and piecemeal everything, you can do that as well. That's about as far as a kit that we have for the lowrider scene at this time. Sunny Manning, what's going on, fam? How are you, bro? All right. So next up on the list is going to be the Ducono. Again, this is going to be one of those ones that for a lot of you folks that don't know, uh, this might be your first introduction to the Ducono. The Ducono has been a longer lasting red cap product that's been within our realm for a few years now. Uh, the Ducono features a uh, high clearance chassis. Uh, it also allows, let me see, I'm trying to bring up the specs, so I do apologize. It is a ready to run out of the box. It has a 19 tooth 550 can motor inside of it. it has a waterproof 40 amp ESC waterproof high torque steering servo, 2.4 gigahertz radio system, a 3000 mAh 8.4 milliamp nickel metal hydrate battery and charger that comes included with it. Kind of a great little basher for the price, regularly priced at $239.99 and we have it on sale now until March for $179.99. Definitely kind of a nice little entry level basher when it comes to maybe the youngster in your life or maybe something that you want to maybe pick up and bash around at work, right? Something that you don't want to uh, spend a ton of money on, but uh, want to enjoy the fun factor of it, right? The Decono definitely can handle that kind of, uh, of realm. Um, let's see here. Let me see, double checking if there are any other specs. No, not that I can see. It is a six gram steering servo. Um, it is a 2S capable truck. Um, and I think that's it as far as specs go on this specific product. But the Decono, right now on sale and available for you to purchase uh, between now and March 5th. Let's see here. Okay, so next up is going to be a product that we actually launched last year. And we have not really had a big sale on this product yet. Not any numbers like this anyways. I'm talking about none other than the Red Cat Gen 9. Uh, the Gen 9 is a, it comes with a International Harvester Scout 800 body. Uh, in fact, let me bring that up here really quick. Um, and let's kind of go over some of the specs on the Gen 9. Uh, the Gen 9 itself is a a 110 scale truck, comes fully assembled, ready to run. It has a brush 550 uh, motor 40 amp um, brushed ESE, high uh, high flex, uh, sorry, hex fly, high torque servo, the 25 kg version. Um, and it does 25 kg at six volts and can bump up to 42 kg at 8.4 volts. A very trusted servo that we've used on a couple different platforms, including the Ascent uh, as well. The radio that it comes with is a four channel 2.4 gigahertz radio system. It does come with uh, four wheel drive, uh, two-speed transmission, divorce transfer case centrally mounted. Uh, the transmission is a two-speed two -speed with a lockable slipper clutch. Wheelbase on this bad boy is adjustable from 312 millimeters all the way up to 336. Ground clearance sets you up at just about 80 millimeters of height. Uh, axle ground clearance is 54.5 millimeters of clearance. Um, definitely a truck that has been fun to film. It's fun been fun to enjoy. Love seeing what people are doing with it, whether you want to uh, work on more things within the actual truck itself and or use different bodies on it and, and kind of go into more of a scale aspect. I shared with you guys last year that I use an Enjora uh, body on mine uh, and, and it, it's done great. I took it to USTE last year and a couple different events like Proline by the Fire and it's really done amazing for us over the last couple years uh, or the last year. The price of the uh, Gen 9 at this time is uh, regularly priced at $359.99 and is down to $269.99 at this time. So just shy of $100 off on the Gen 9 as we speak. So if you are in the market for a crawler and want a good deal for the buck, definitely something worth checking out. And if you have some points that you might have with us uh, because you purchase regularly, maybe you might be able to get even a better deal at that. So make sure you're cashing those bad boys in. One of the next products that we're going to talk about here today is going to be the TC8 Marksman. This was a launch that launched, I want to say, a little bit over a year ago, and it's our eighth scale crawler. Uh, what makes this eighth scale 
crawler any different? Well, it's kind of something that we did in an eight scale fashion that we hadn't really done with something that size. It does carry axles uh, in a lot of the drivetrain from the Windigo, which was primarily a rock racer and a basher. Uh, so we know the axles can definitely handle a lot more of the beat down that a lot of folks might want to do. But with the Marksman, the TC8 Marksman, what we decided to do was add a couple features. Well, some of the features are including brown paint underneath the actual body so that when you scrape the green paint off the actual body it exposes a patinaed rust color that bleeds through uh, just kind of some of the the aspects as well it also was the first time that we launched some of our tires um, which are the m16 i believe the tires were let me double check uh, what did we call these tires uh, they were the Interco SS M16 replica tires, um, and uh, the wheel size were 2.2 inch wheels. Some of the specs on this bad boy are as follows. Uh, let me get to that point here. I always wish I had like more things ready to go. <laughs> uh, 577 millimeters length, 296 millimeters width. Uh, it does carry the 25 kg high torque digital servo. Uh, has a wheelbase of 367 millimeters stock and is adjustable from 355 to 379. Um, it also is the first time, not the first time, but um, primarily in conjunction with, let's say, like the Axe Edition Gen 8. This time we ended up pairing it with a Hobby Wing Quick Run ESC 1080, uh, 80 amp. Uh, ESE uh, electronic speed control paired with a Holmes Hobby five slot motor and I believe this one's going to be a 13 turn motor really smooth operation when it comes to crawlability Holmes Hobbies is a great name inside of the crawler industry and being able to pair any of our crawlers with his electronics uh, motor specifically it's always a great takeaway to have so definitely buy with confidence we also include the Hobby Wing ESE programmer in case you wanted to make further adjustments on the fly as well the truck itself comes with a um, Jeep-esque type of body looking. <laughs> it has a uh, driver that you can paint any color that you want and accessorize in any fashion that you wish. Uh, the price on the Marksman at this time, regularly priced at $379.99. And we have it on sale until March 5th for $284.99. So keep that in mind, guys, when you're shopping. Definitely something you may want to uh, enjoy and uh, take advantage of during the sale that we have going on at this time. Uh, let's see here. All right. One of the next things that we're going to talk about here today that we also have on sale, and this one's been kind of a new product to put on sale at this price point as well, is going to be something that we also dropped and we actually launched uh, 2023 with. That's the Red Cat RDS Drift Car. Uh, the RDS drift car is a two-wheel drive drift car with a carbon fiber chassis. The ready-to-run version um, comes with a 540 CAN motor, 3300 kV brushless motor, 60 amp brushless ESE, uh, our GX1 Hexfly drift gyro. Uh, the steering servo is a Hexfly cordless drift spec servo. Also comes with our included 2.4 gigahertz digital radio system. It is rear wheel drive so that it is more realistic, not that all wheel drive lightning uh, that we've offered in the past. Uh, this thing is actually uh, shaft, or sorry, uh, transmission with axle shaft driven in the rear. Um, definitely something that is a fun car to start with and enjoy. Uh, the wheelbase on this bad boy is 253 millimeters and adjustable all the way to 261 millimeters. Stock is 257 millimeters. So the adjustability is from 253 to 261. It is a four coil over shock suspension all the way around. Uh, the car itself pretty much just needs a battery and uh, four AA batteries for your radio so that you can start sliding and having a good time with. One of the most funnest videos that we were able to do was this video that you guys see right next to me. And all of these, the whole entire video was shot using nothing but stock RDSs. So thanks to our drivers, Cody Walker and uh, Shane McCoola, they did an amazing job driving this vehicle and they honestly just made it look super easy. Uh, factory remotes, factory electronics, factory tires on the entire platform when we shot this video. So if you really kind of want to see what you can truly do once you really master driving the car, you're going to see stuff like this. Sorry, I'm 
confused. <laughs> but you're going to see stuff. You're going to be able to do stuff like this if you truly wanted to and wanted to practice. These guys have a lot of wheel time behind uh, the actual car. RDS is a great platform. We also just recently released the hop up parts for the RDS, which are available on our website as well. Some aluminum upgrades include the skeleton, skeletorial tra transmission case, uh, upper control arms, uh, knuckles for the steering as well, um, and a couple of things that for some reason my mind can't gravitate towards but uh, we did have them on a previous show recently not last week but the week before where we highlighted su such products so if you are in the market and want to enjoy getting into the rc drift scene this might be the best time to do so at a price point of 299.99 again the regularly priced retail price is 399.99 and it's on sale until march 5th for 299.99 so get out there have a good time enjoy it should be a great time to have I mean, look at this bad boy. This is actually one of my favorite parts because we modified a 59 with a stretched RDS chassis just to have fun with in this video. And of course, we had to catch it sideways. Every time I watch this video, I actually, I pause because it's fun. It was a fun video to have. If you enjoyed the video um, when we launched it, and if you have seen it, make sure you drop a like or a comment. Throw some tacos at your boy. It's always fun to see. So thank you so much for uh, everyone that has supported this product over the last year. All right, we wrap up the sale on March 5th. And if you are into something that has a little bit more oomph, a little bit more power, then you're not gonna wanna go too far because last year we also launched the Machete 4S and 6S edition. At this time, we have the Machete 4S on sale uh, from a regular price of $399.99, and it is on sale today through March 5th for $299.99. The Machete 4S um, comes with the Hobbywing Max 10 SCT ready to run 120 amp um, ESC, electronic speed control, uh, with a single XT90 battery connector. Uh, it includes a 3674 brushless, brushless electronic motor and a 2.4 gigahertz radio digital radio system. The chassis comes with a four millimeter gunmetal anodized aluminum chassis. It is a four wheel drive uh, system with CVA axles front and rear. Differentials are three oil filled gear differentials, uh, single speed transmission. The total length of this product is 692 millimeters. The actual wheelbase of this product will set you in the 441 millimeter range. Suspension sits nice and tight with independent front and rear suspension. Large big bore oil filled shocks are underneath it. This battery can handle up to 4S, one single 4S LiPo pack, um, and uh, things that you will need to utilize this vehicle will be your 4S battery. Uh, obviously a LiPo charger to charge the battery unless you already have some, and four AA batteries for your radio. Again, a product that we launched last year, now available on sale for you to enjoy and uh, take home at a discounted price of $299.99. Again, another fun product to film just kind of the realm, the norm that we've been doing here. Uh, we have been filming some stuff recently, which as I promised has to happen because we have things that are gonna be coming in the near future. And that also means that for a lot of you guys, you need to get started on thinking long and hard on the Guess What's Next campaign because that's gonna be launching uh, between now and uh, I don't know, the end of the quarter, right? Between now and March, we're gonna launch the Guess What's Next campaign because as we told you guys, there's small drops and then there's big drops. The small drops, usually don't really get involved in the Guess What's Next campaign, but the bigger drops do, right? So if we're gonna launch something that's gonna be involved in that, then obviously it's time for something that has not been dropped by us yet that you guys are gonna truly love and enjoy. So Machete 4S, again, available on sale. All these products are on sale that I mentioned here today uh, between now and March 5th. If you want a direct link to the products, make sure you check the description in this video. It'll send you directly to that product where you can find it and uh, get it on sale while supplies last. Some of these products are becoming low in inventory. Uh, so it's literally available between now and March 5th or while supplies last. So keep that in mind when you are shopping. If you're waiting for the last couple of days, uh, you may or may not have, we may or may not have inventory left to sell you at that time. One last and final item that I want to bring up to you guys that we just offered on sale because we were talking about the TC8 Marksman earlier is none other than the Hobby Wing Holmes Hobby Motor ESC Combo. 
This is going to be a great one for you guys that are loving your crawlers, whether you have a Gen 8 of the past or you have a Gen 9 uh, or even an Ascent and, and kind of want some better controlled electronics at an amazing price point. Right now, we have the Hobby Wing Quick Run 1080 ESC with the, paired with the Holmes Hobby 13 turn. Uh, 550 can motor available for as little as $39.99. This is the older version of the 1080 ESC, not their brand new version that has re has come out in recent months. Uh, so keep that in mind. But this is going to be a great option for those guys that have an Ascent and or a Gen 8 that kind of want a little bit better control electronics. 13 turn motor, it's going to give you quite a bit more wheel spin in a 10 scale, but I honestly feel that the controllability of it is going to be spot on. For 39 bucks, getting an ESC motor combo that's going to completely change the way those two products crawl is definitely something you want to get into. We have a limited amount of these combos available on our website. If you want them, definitely jump on it. It's $39.99 right now. For a lot of you guys that want to go in there and just buy that, you're going to get shocked because shipping is gonna cost an arm and a leg unless you put $50 of things in your cart. Anything that you guys buy from us in our cart that equivalents to $50 or more ships complimentary within the lower 48 states of the United States. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be shopping for something that costs $39, throw something in that's gonna get you in the $50 mark or right over the $50 mark so that shipping can be on us for you guys so you're not spending an arm and a leg. Let's say that you're a lowrider guy. Well, maybe now's the time to add some chrome bits while you're at it. Maybe throw a hat or a t-shirt. Maybe throw in, you know, a set of tires or whatever it may be that you might want as upgrades within the hobby itself. So there you guys have it. Make sure you guys are, are chipping away. Quick run 1080 ESC 13 turn Holmes Hobby Motor, great addition if you have a Gen 9, great addition if you have a Gen 8, great addition if you have an Ascent. Um, it might be a little bit of a tight fit because of the motor can is a lot bigger, so I hope they fit, but they should. I might double check that just to be safe because it is a little bit larger can motor, but nonetheless, I want to say almost 100% certainty that there shouldn't be any issues with the length uh, of the motor itself, but for 39 bucks, you really just can't beat it. So. Buy with confidence when you buy from us, guys. Make sure you guys are uh, checking it out and checking out uh, while you guys have supplies on hand. All right. Alex Amora, any upgrades on the Marksman? Uh, none that I've been made aware of at this time, Alex, but thank you for the question. I'm sure the powers that be are watching, and hopefully there might be some things that might be coming in the future as well. Um, Erica Stepp says, I'm thinking of a light kit for the Monty. Dude, if you guys don't know, man, Eric's TikTok page is wild. Like, homie gets 1.2, 2.0 million views, and his followers love the Monty. Just the different videos he does, they're quick clips, but dude, he's killing it. So, Erica Stepp, man, thank you so much for keeping it strong, uh, making sure that you're sharing the wealth when it comes to the RC Lowrider scene to all of your viewers. We appreciate it wholeheartedly. I'm just double checking some comments, guys. Make sure I didn't miss a lot of the big stuff. I'm going to kind of skim through. Bobby's RC Garage, man. What's going on with you, man? How are you, bro? Um, let's see. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to read, make sure I'm not missing any good ones. Clive Hewing says, I love my RDS and hope you guys are getting started in the drift scene. Well, Clive, we actually have tried to penetrate the drift scene uh, within the last calendar year, right? When we dropped our rear-wheel drive car, uh, we have a lot of loyalists that come to the product. And uh, it's been fun seeing some of the very big professionals use our products and uh, be pleasantly surprised with what they've been able to do with them. So uh, we hope it continues to grow. We hope it's a, it's a product that... Uh, does well for us in the long run, uh, but only time will tell. So ho we'll hope for the best. And let's see here. Santos, Roberto Fausto, man, what's going on with you, bro? How are you? Let's see. Let me see. Da -da -da -da. 
Yeah, lots of the same comments, guys. You guys are all. Thank you for the comments. Loving the products, loving the stuff. Um, I'm kind of. I went so far as I'm catching up on the comments that you guys were making of the products while I was talking about them. Just want to make sure I'm not missing the questions. But I appreciate you guys dropping the comments. It helps immensely. Thank you for that. Uh, J27, would it be bad to put a 64 battery on the Monte Carlo? Not at all. It's just a slightly bigger battery when it comes to the milliamp output. Um, I personally run LiPo batteries in my cars and I just add a little bit more of the plates uh, in them, like the 64, uh, because obviously a LiPo battery is going to weigh a lot less than a nickel metal hydride battery and my runtime is just through the roof. Another thing that I actually do for 39 bucks is uh, like the ESC that we're talking about is uh, I actually run the 1080 ESC in my, my a lot of my low riders because it gets rid of that humming sound that I get uh, on the light initiation start. Uh, the higher amperage allows for a little bit better BEC as well, although I run auxiliary BECs, uh, voltage regulators on my car so that I can bump them up a lot higher because I like running uh, bigger servos or higher power servos on all four corners rather than just the, the stock 25 kg servos. Definitely is a little bit more entailed when it comes to that, but um, like when you want to make a hop, Monty hop and, and whatnot, that is just the beginning. Uh, weight distribution helps a lot more. But to answer your question, the most simplest term, yes, you can definitely use that battery in there. It's just going to give you a slightly longer run time. Dayton Knack, what's going on with you, bro? How are you? Jeff Appleby, any blackout parts coming? Not that I'm aware of, uh, but I'll double check and hopefully get an answer for you in the between now and the next show. Alex Amor is taking his Mark Spin to Proline by the Fire. Should be a good time, man. Proline by the Fire is going to be a fun, fun time at the end of the day. All right, guys. So uh, with that said, uh, let's see here check okay sorry bump my mic volume okay so um with that said guys let's kind of talk about some of the events kind of happening i had quite a bit of influx of people wanting to get some highlights on their events that are going to be coming up here in the near future uh so let's kind of go over a few of them i hope i didn't mess up because i cut I did get a little bit inundated with a lot of different events. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about the first event that's on the docket, and these are in order of them happening. This weekend, we have the Arizona Lowrider Super Show happening at the Phoenix Convention Center. Uh, the event itself is going to take place this Saturday, February 17th, at the Phoenix Convention Center. If you want tickets to this event, you're definitely going to want to go uh, check out the link in the description of this video so that you can purchase your tickets. Within that event, Frank Gonzalez is going to be hosting a boulevard scene where he's going to be having a competition for RC lowriders. Uh, this RC boulevard is going to host 64, 59, 79 Monte Carlos and other bodies as well as junior classes. There will be first, second and third place awards for those classes. There will also be specialty awards for best of show, best paint, best interior. RC hydraulic competition classes, so this is going to be your hop. You're going to have a stock hop, a stock dance, custom hop and custom dance uh, category as well. Uh, it is free to bring your cars and just cruise. If you want to enter the show and compete your personal car, it is $10 for a car. If you want to join the comp for the hop, that'll be $20 to join the fun. So great, great show. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, I'm really happy Frank Gonzalez is involved. I know it's going to be held and done very well. I will be there with my camera taking footage as well. So I look forward to seeing anyone that's going to be out and about. We'll have a booth set up selling our products as well, but I usually don't hang out as much there. I usually am and with all the people out there having a good time, trying to capture as much as I can, which usually means that I usually have a video for you guys when I come back of some sort to share the wealth and show you guys all the happening. So if you are anywhere in the near area and want to participate, make sure you come out and check it out. It should be an, a very awesome and fun time. All right, one of the next events, and this is a new one on the list uh, that was brought to me, um, and this was brought to me by, do I not have it on here? Mm, that one did not make it, so give me one second, guys. The next event that I have uh, will be an event called Streetwise the Yuma, Arizona Super Show. 
And this show was actually shared with me by uh, Jesus Martinez of Team Yonkes. Team Yonkes is going to be out in the house in full force with a lot of different crew, with a lot of different crew members uh, showing off their Pride and Joy RC cars. You might even see the one and only infamous Midas, King Midas car uh, that a lot of folks have uh, treasured and loved so very much. And we even featured it on the show when it came to the SEMA build off and also on the actual sharing of posts that we normally do. So um, definitely something worth checking out. Um, the show itself will be held at uh, on Saturday, February 24th at Z Fun Factory. Uh, the address for that is 4446 East County 10th Street in Yuma, Arizona. Showtime is from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you know, T. Yonkis is in the house. It's going to be a great and fun time. So if you're anywhere in the area and you have RC Lowriders and want to enjoy the show, make sure you check it out. Stop on by. It should be a good time. I don't know what the pricing of this show is or if there's a fee to get in. Um, and I hope that between now and then I'll have a little bit more information to share in the future week. So thank you, uh, Team Yonkis, for uh, showing up and showing out. All right, next show that we ourselves at Red Cat will be attending is going to be the uh, Long Beach Super Show. And the Long Beach Super Show never disappoints. In my opinion, one of the bigger shows when it comes to the RC Lowrider scene. And as you would guess it, the show itself should have an RC Boulevard show inside of it as well. But let's get through the actual main show itself. The show will be held at the Long Beach Convention Center on Saturday, March 9th. Uh, if you want tickets to this event, again, the link is in the description of this video. If you want more information on the actual RC show itself, um, then you're going to want to check out Galindo's Bike Shop. Galindo's Bike Shop is going to be hosting and is one of the main sponsors for the RC Boulevard as well as all things lowrider so this event itself should be a fun time so thank you so much to galindo's bike shop for showing up showing out and i'm telling you right now he's i believe one of our dealers as well i know that it's going to be a good show because you're involved i know it's going to be a fun time so thank you for putting in the work and thank you for keeping it going and showing up and showing out for all these folks to be able to enjoy an amazing time so boulevard scene will be set up galindo's bike shop is holding it down at long beach march uh now i'm messing it up here march 9th so uh we'll see you guys there it should be a fun time um i can't wait all right um all right one of the next shows that's going to be going on is one that we've brought up a few times already but this one is uh, best of show magazine red cat lowrider invite this is going to happen sunday april 7th in merced county fairgrounds i don't know the prices yet but if you want more information please reach out to chip dog rc on instagram that's c-h-i-p D-O-G-G-R-C. Uh, the event itself is going to have prizes um, from uh, custom RC lowriders, prizes from Jeveries, scale lowriders, and San Cal Hobbies. Uh, people are going to roll in at 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. The show starts at 12 p.m. and goes to 6 p.m. Again, as I mentioned before, reach out to Santos R. Frausto on Facebook or Chip Dog RC on Instagram if you want any more information in the meantime. But it should be another great event. I look forward to seeing the content of it and if I can get away, maybe even be able to make it out. So thank you so much for everyone that's putting it on, holding it down, and uh, we look forward to seeing what uh, comes of it. All right, last event that I have on my docket is one that was also brought up to me. And this bad boy is on the same date as this event. And this bad boy, if you don't know, you gotta be, gotta ask somebody. Delegations RC is gonna be holding it down uh, for their Los Angeles, their LA chapters, third annual RC show and hop. The event itself was, is gonna go down Sunday, April 7th, 2024. And it's gonna go from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's gonna be hosted at Southgate Park um, in Los Angeles, I'm assuming. I don't know the address of it at this time, but if I do get it, I will make sure to add it in the description of the comment for future episodes. Price is gonna be $10 per car. It does include two raffle tickets, complimentary. And if you have up to five cars, the fifth car is free to enter. Um, Delegations RC, Martin Lara and the crew, uh, great bunch of guys. If you've ever been to one of their shows or a show that they've been a part of, they always put on a really fun show that is really family oriented uh, from beginning to end. So thank you so much for Martin La to Martin Lara, Delegations RC, the entire crew, Team Yonkes, um, 
the uh, Chip Dog RC, um, Galindo's Bike Shop, and everyone else that's involved in making these events fun. Frank Gonzalez as well, uh, and making these shows happen. So thank you guys for making the shows happen. Sorry, and uh, keeping you know the RC lowrider scene well and alive and moving forward. Um, it's going to be a great time and a great year, as I mentioned. There's going to be more shows to add as we go, uh, but that's as far as the shows that I have in the near future uh, that will be a part of and or attending or are relevant to the Red Cap products. Once I get some more events as we get closer to crawler stuff and things of that nature, I'll definitely make sure to share those as well so we're not just staying one-dimensional. But from all of us here at Red Cap, we hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Again, as a reminder, it is valentine's day so make sure that you are kind to your significant other today because if not they may not take advantage of the sale that we have going on and you may not get some good stuff i'm just saying so on the way home and it doesn't take much man buy you know some reese's pieces if you have to maybe go down and uh, and pick up some flowers maybe not because flowers are going to be hard to get and as expensive as can be you know what maybe just buy them an rc car and like someone said in the comments if they don't like it you can keep it for yourself i said what i said i meant what i meant i don't care <laughs> um titty westby what's up no dancer update no dancer update guys as mentioned uh on last week's episode we're going to have more updates coming up in the coming weeks we are working on that program i did start the show talking a little bit about it to clarify that the 200 is not for a subscription of information rather a deposit for the product and the icing on the cake is being a part of the group that kind of helps mold what this final product may or may not look like uh, and as well as potentially have its own addition at the end of the day so it's going to allow those that want to participate and be a part of that program to really kind of be able to geek out with us and in a way kind of be part of the founders of this new product that we're going to be launching so uh, i hope the rest of you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Make sure you guys are giving your significant others all the love and respect. And make sure that you're also taking some for yourself as well. Because if you buy RC cars, you can never go wrong. And I don't care if they say it's a bad investment. I mean, you can always buy him or her an RC car and some tacos. You can't go wrong with one or the other, in my opinion, right? So you guys stay blessed. Stay safe we'll see you guys next week and i'll see a lot of you guys this weekend at the phoenix arizona lowrider super show you guys stay safe stay blessed peace out i'm out of here